Good morning. Uh, many years back, I used to work in the Bay Area with Infosys as a senior executive. Sorry, I will take my mic. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I went back to India after that. I started working in India. And somebody told me, let's go visit a slum and see how poor children learn. It was an odd one. But I said, sure, let's go visit a slum. And this is what I saw, a government school with a child teaching other children, cement bags in the back, no furniture. And my child went to a high school in the city of Bangalore. And this surprised me. And there were kids coming into school, to a school like this, with no teachers. And I was like, hmm, something is happening out here. So I said, let me go and talk to these mothers. And the mother said, my child needs to learn. My child needs to become a doctor, a scientist, an engineer. <laughs> and I said, wow, and that's what's happening. 97% of children in India are in primary school. But I went further. And less than 8%, can you believe it? Less than 8% can read at grade level. I was like, I was freaked, completely freaked, saying, do these women even know what's happening to their children? They're investing so much time and money pushing these kids. Do they even know what's happening to their kids? So I went down, spoke to policymakers. They said, yeah, I know it's not too good. But <laughs> anyway, they have to become carpenters and plumbers. Uh, they, didn't, they were not hearing what the people wanted. It sort of you know, got me thinking, and I said, I think I can fix this. You know, I have the education, I have the intelligence, I can put together things, I can fix this. And I said, at Hippocampus, we will transform the lives of these children through high quality education. And I'm Umesh Malhotra, I've been doing this for many years, and I'm here to tell you how we make this happen. We are stupid. We are IT guys, you know, tech guys. A bit, we believe a bit in ourselves. We said we will go into rural India, a lot more difficult than urban slum. 170 million children under 10 years, just half the population of US <laughs> is under 10 in rural India, lives in places like this, and they want good education. We said we'll go to rural India and open up preschools which look like this. We will rent a space in the village, talk to people, rent a space, hire a local teacher, train her well, and get a preschool going first for ages three to six. We'll get the children right when they're young and build the capacity. Uh, we made it work. Uh, it costs us $3,000 to set up a preschool. The payback period is five years and 30 children to break even. We've been doing this from 2011. Today we have 500 teachers, 8,000 students, and parents paying less than 20 cents a day. Most of our parents earn two and a half dollars per day, so 20 cents is eight to nine percent of their income. We have 225 schools running right now. We have 225 rural preschools, and because of the fees the parents are paying, 82 percent of them are profitable already. How do we make this happen? We believe that you have to get the right teachers. But I can't find them, so I have to make the right teachers. So we did a couple of things. We went and said, you know, we're seeing education work in India and the world. We are seeing people come out. People like me, I came out of the Indian system. Something is going well. So we went there, took the best lesson plans, documented them, systemized them. And then we came into the village and said, we are looking for women who have the capability to be teachers, and we will train you to become effective teachers. We'll make you awesome teachers. And it worked. Being an IT person, we got everything automated. There was a tablet in every center. Every village had a tablet. And from enrollment to assessment, from ticket management, parent complaints, everything was automated in a tablet. 
And here comes the fun part. And we have to test ourselves, right? We came here to improve education. So what do you see in black out here are Indian public school third graders. And this is their current performance in just simple grade one tests. The mother tongue, which is the language they speak at home, working with numbers, and reading in English. So let's see how the hippocampus children, hippocampus kindergartners did against third graders in public school. Huh, they did better in Canada, in the mother tongue. Okay, fine. They did better in math. And they blew English apart. I just want to check. The kids have the potential. Rural kids from poor parents have the potential. I just wonder how many of us out here are smarter than a hippocampus kindergartner. <laughs> you know, as we were doing this, we had a parent who came to us. We had many parents who came to us and said, I have a child. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have a child who is, uh, you know, doing who's in kindergarten with hippocampus and in third grade in some other school. And the child in that school is not learning. I don't want my child to move on and move up there. I'm worried that all the foundation that's been built is going for waste if I send him to a private school or a public school under the government. We said we didn't have the money. Over dialogues over a couple of years, the community found us money and the community, somebody in the community came out and said and built buildings for us. So this is the buildings they gave us to run primary schools. We currently have seven primary schools operating for grades one to five. And because we get money from the community, our setup cost is $7,500. And the payback period is three years. Then we said, we've started working with primary schools. What can we do in urban slums? we started licensing our program to the already existing network of affordable private schools in urban slums. We currently have 76 licenses running there. And then we replicated to Mexico. A friend of mine, Luis, will come and talk to you about Hippocampus Mexico shortly. We have an experienced leadership, fantastic investors, and some great donors who have helped us get as far as we have got. What next? asked this child to us. What next? And we said, we'll grow eight times in the next five years. We'll have 120,000 children, 4,500 teachers. And all this will be done through a large network of rural preschools, primary schools, and licensed partners. Finally, we're asking for $2.3 million across grant and debt. And we hope you have your support to get this to go into many children. Well, if we get this money, we believe that we will be able to grow at 25% per annum in perpetuity without needing any more money. And finally, we believe this girl, Preeta, will be the next Elon Musk, and she'll come from <laughs> hippocampus. Thank you.